Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Well, I said I'd do a video and share a combined birthday present with you all. So that's what today's video is about. Our birthday present, um, a finished object, some acquisitions and just a bit of general chat. So our birthdays. Thing and I share birthdays in May, in the first week of May. We're about five days apart, a few years apart, but five days apart. And this year, um, it's been difficult for Thing. He um, suffers a bit of depression. He got quite depressed when um, the Australian government announced that we probably wouldn't be able to travel internationally till the end of next year. He does like to travel. And yeah, he is retired. And in July last year, we lost our dog Baxter, which he used to do an awful lot with, go to the beach. So that left a big gap and he got quite depressed. So I decided for our birthdays, we would investigate getting a dog. Because at the craft markets, or the community markets here, all the people that know us would say to me, he needs a dog, he needs a little dog. He's really lonely without a little dog. So yes, I decided I would investigate getting a dog. So I looked online and there were some uh, breeders, because I used to show dogs, I used to show um, Sharpays, and I do miss having a dog, but I don't miss showing dogs. It's a lot of work. So I looked on the breeders line and I found some miniature snouses for sale on the Tablelands, not in Melanda, different area. And I was invited up when they were three weeks old to have a look there was one male and three females and we only ever really want a male dog so i had a look at him and he was really cute and decided he would be the pet we get i paid the deposit and i had to we had to name him for the papers and off we went and two days before things birthday I get a phone call early hours of the morning to say that she'd had to have him put down. She was very vague about what was wrong with him and as I didn't want a female, she would refund me the money. So that was it. I was like devastated and I'd organised this present and I'm, everything and uh, it sort of put a, I was pretty down myself. And then Thing decided he would have a look at different things and he found some schnoodle puppies born in Melanda. A schnoodle is a, a miniature or a schnauzer and poodle cross. These happen to be standard schnoodles. Now Baxter, our little dog, was a miniature schnoodle. So this meant they were going to be bigger. Instead of about five kilos heavier, maybe 10 kilos heavier, taller, who knows. And the litter, um, Unfortunately, Stella, the mum, had the nine puppies and it was hard on her. But we were invited to have a look at them when they were four weeks up old. So up we went and we went up. It was so well organised. All the puppies had different colour collars. And as we had told the breeder we were only interested in males, we were shown the males in the pen. And we had gone up to see Master Graham because she sent photos of them all. And he was the one we liked in the photo. And we were checking him out when this little puppy in the pen kept carrying on. So Thing would pick him up and he'd snuggle up to him and stop. And then he'd put him back and he'd start again. So then we started looking at Master Yellow. And yes, we fell in love with him. So we now have a new family member we collected last week. Unfortunately, he's very sleepy at the moment. He's had lunch, which is his puppy milk, and he wants to go to sleep. And this is Saxon, our new family member. He is just under nine weeks old. Oh, he's tired. Are you tired, baby? Say hello. I'll put you down so you can have a sleep. Oh, yes. Mum was cream and Dad was... Um, what they call salt and pepper, grey and black. He's got a bit of white on his chest, uh, but we don't know. He did have the smallest feet because we were trying to pick the smallest dog when we picked him, but now we realise he has big paddles for feet. So that purpose was defeated. I'll put him down so he can sleep. Yeah, yes. Oh, that's a long tongue. 
So we've had a couple of sleepless nights with him settling in, but last night he did sleep through the night. Yay! He is chewing everything, like most little puppies. I've forgotten about that. And yes, he is slowly potty training, but he's doing pretty well for eight, you know, nine weeks old. And we're really excited to have him. No, he's not a replacement for Baxter. Um, Baxter left a huge hole in our heart and it was really a big decision to get another dog. And um, he's a new family member. Now, we did look at rescue dogs. Once the schnauzer had passed away, I started checking out rescue dogs. And the thing that um, Baxter being ill taught us, we were really lucky to have pet insurance. Um, they paid about 70% of the cost because but Baxter being Hill and the vet costs, there was not much change out of $10,000 and that was trying to save his life for a week. Oh, you're snuggling up. Oh. He does like company Saxton. Um, they were, I think all the puppies slept together because he likes to sleep on things like pillows and blankets and, um, yeah, he likes to be close to someone when he's having a nap, like he misses his brothers and sisters. But he will, he's slowly getting used to it. So yeah, um, getting pet insurance was really important and we discovered you can't get pet insurance here for rescue dogs. I don't know about anywhere else. Living in the tropics, dogs can get um, anything and get really ill and you really do need it. So that was the big no-no for a rescue dog. And there are lots of scams out there. Um, puppies and dogs became very popular during COVID. Um, she has sold eight of the puppies. The ninth one may go to Melbourne, but the lady and her husband are nervous about sending money for a dog and having it shipped to Melbourne in case they don't get a dog. And I did say to the breeder, if you want to put me down as a referee, they can call me and I'll guarantee them that you are authentic. And yeah. It was awesome picking him up. It was so well organised, so lovely. And first time ever, she um, had a goodie bag with him. He got a bag with a blanket, um, a chew toy, a ball, and a big bag of puppy biscuits that he's been weaned to after leaving mum. Yeah, just absolutely blew me away. So we have a lovely new family member who doesn't want to be on video. He just wants to go to sleep. <laughs> So the other thing I thought while I was waiting to get him, I watched Gary from Urban Yarn and he showed a pet bed he'd made from Crystal at Bagger Day's tutorial. And I checked out one of her tutorials. I saw one with Steve, her big cat, laid in it. And she said that the pet bed was for a miniature, a medium-sized dog, which um, Saxon will eventually be. Unfortunately, I couldn't get anywhere the type of yarn she used or the size of yarn so I decided I'd still do the tutorial but I'd improvise and I made Saxon a pet bed so yes it's made with stash yarn so it's t-shirt yarn and pure wool I couldn't get this color I started with so I didn't bother I just used more of the t-shirt yarn I had I will put a photo at the end and the reason I use t-shirt yarn on pure wool is t-shirt yarn is 90% cotton and it needs to breathe in the tropics because he likes to sleep on something. I actually bought a big cushion to go inside of it at the moment because it does lay on a tiled surface and it is cooler here at the moment. It's winter. So the cushion helps him sleep better and he um, is off the cold floor. In summer, I'll take the cushion out and put a blanket in the bottom and then he'll be like sort of cool. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this. It was hard on my wrist. I used an 18 millimeter crochet hook. I think Crystal's tutorial was a 19 millimeter, but I wasn't buying a new crochet hook. And yeah, I improvised with t-shirt yarn. I used Lean Craft Spaghetti Yarn and that was the orange and then the reddish color was crafty from um, spotlight motor vera and the wool i had i've got the wool bands here was merino magic chunky heirloom wool um i wonder if i've still got oh, yeah, that color doesn't have a color name just a number i used two um nearly three balls of that and they're 120 meters in a ball 
125 gram balls. Now that is normally $16 a ball, but I actually picked this one colour up in a clearance sale ages ago for $5 a ball and had quite a bit of it. And the beauty of using the t-shirt yarn and that up is I almost emptied one of my drawers of yarn in my stash where I can put new yarn. So yeah, I'm really happy with the craft bread. It's a great, um, the pet bed and using the t-shirt yarn and wool. It's a great tutorial. I will put a link to it and it is sort of, gives you a nice feeling making something for your new family member. I really enjoyed it. Sorry, I have to move the blanket. It's sort of fallen behind me because he's tried to gather it up to sleep on. I'll just put that down there. So that was our birthday presents with me and my finished object. So also while up in Melanda where my favourite craft shop was, and yes, I did organise to pick Saxon up on a Thursday when she's open, I bought some yarn. I am in Zeta's calendar cowl. I, um, I won't always make a cowl. I knitted a cowl last month and I do have another knitted cowl pattern I want to do. But for June's picture, I didn't have anywhere close to the colours um, in my stash. And I decided while I was in Melanda, I'd check out what uh, my favourite little craft shop had. And I did buy six balls, different colours to go with the cowl and the cowl to do the new cowl in. And I bought um, Panda Magnum 8 ply from the Australian Yarn Company, three weight or DK. 100 gram ball with 271 meters and I bought the colors I needed it is lovely and soft and I might do a review on this yarn for those people who are interested but yeah that was what I bought when I was there I also bought there some cotton to make some dishcloths um, sugar and cream cotton is really quite expensive in cans about seven dollars a ball and she had it for five dollars fifty she didn't have a great range this is called um, fruit punch. Um, I bought that one. I thought that was nice because I am making some dish cloths. I also thought I'd try this cotton tone. It's five ply cotton, but I thought I could put two colors together and it was three dollars a ball. So that was what I bought at the craft shop. While in Milan, I visited the news agency and I found the Crochet Now magazine. I haven't got it, was a twin pack with crochet essentials and I thought I'd buy that that was like $17 for the magazines I haven't had time to look at them because the puppy keeps me busy along with work and I did buy some stuff acquisition wise online um, with the making the pet bed with the big crochet hook put a bit of a strain on my wrist so I am knitting more and I decided I needed more Shigu knitting needles and I bought some from um, Fiberific in Brisbane. She has them at a great price and, and quite a good range. She does have a YouTube channel so I'll put a link to that there. Um, but yeah, I bought some knitting needles which arrived in a very timely manner in the post which is unusual for Australia at the moment. And I also was on eBay. I had a vintage a pattern book which I lent to my sister a couple of years back and it seems to have disappeared um, and I really wanted it and I was on eBay and she had it at a price which was a bit expensive but she did have make an offer and it was free postage I made a ridiculously low offer thinking she won't accept it but she did and I got my vintage pattern book now there are lots of things in here that are old-fashioned and you wouldn't make but in here is one particular pattern I really value um, when I was a lot younger before I had children I used to make this I've made a couple for different new family members being born and it is the circular Shetland shawl it's knitted what my first time I did this it took me six months to knit it is an involved pattern but the finished product object and project is absolutely beautiful and whoever I gave it to is blown away and I'd like to make one again. There is a little surprise on the horizon in our family um, that I don't talk about much um, because we're quite nervous um, 
she has miscarried quite a few times she is at 23 weeks now so fingers crossed things keep going smoothly for her and if I make that for her I'm sure she'll love it anyway that was my vintage pattern book I really do love this book and that particular pattern there are a few things in there I would have a go at um, some of them are very old-fashioned there is like the swimsuits they're really old-fashioned you wouldn't make those these days uh, this one thing in here I used to look at and think I should if I'd had children at the time I may have made it the little dressing gown toddler's dressing gown if I'd had this when the boys were younger or I was knitting I would have made it but I, I wasn't knitting when the boys were younger. I quite like that. That's my acquisitions, my trip to the tablelands. A new family member who is fast asleep. He doesn't want to be disturbed. I'll put a photo of him at the end. Um, it is hard to get a good shot of his face because he's so black. But hopefully we've got a shot that you can check him out and say hello to Saxon, our new very much treasured family member so guys um the only other thing is i'd like to remind you about christmas in july promotion worldwide that dana from one dana's wonder lost crochet organized last year and is doing again this year um, i will be participating so make sure you're subscribed and click the notification bell so you see the video that makes you eligible to go into christmas in july my video on the first of july um, I will be giving a prize out to what I call fairy hunters and all the people trying to track down the fairies and leave a comment if you leave a comment I haven't decided what the prize will be but I did do it last year I'll also do a small prize for fellow fairies um, it'll probably be a ten dollar voucher a pattern voucher for the fellow fairies who stop by that video and say hello so don't forget Christmas in July is coming soon with having a puppy, I cannot find my clicker to stop the video, so I'm going to have to stop it the usual old-fashioned way. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, take care, and make sure you have one crafty day making something for a pet. Bye for now.